Hey guys, let's not forget about the ladies, alright? Stick around. Hey, hey, YouTube. Welcome back to Urban Outdoors. Hey, I'm Urban, but you knew that, didn't you? Hey, guys, today is International Women's Day. And in celebration of that, I thought it'd be a great time for me to go through my wife's get home bag. Too many times I think us guys get so involved in all of this gear and bug out bags and get home bags, whatever you want to call them, that we forget that our wife might have a car too. And what if she gets stranded by herself and needs to get home? She needs one of these just as much as we do. So this is the bag that's in my wife's car. It stays in the trunk. In addition to all of the other car items, you know, a spare tire, a jack, a tire iron, jumper cables, tire inflator, uh, first aid kit, all that, a toolbox, all that stuff's in her trunk, but this is also there. In case her car breaks down, she's stranded, she needs to get home, this is the bag that will help her to do that, and to short-term survive if she has to, say, camp out overnight, if she's a long way from home, the roads are all backed up, there's no help around, she has no phone signal, or doesn't have her phone, whatever the situation could be. But what I want to do, and the purpose of this video, is to go through here. Because I'll be honest with you, I have kind of forgotten what's in here. So, one, I want to re-familiarize myself with what's in here. Two, I want to make sure that everything in here is still intact and usable. And three, I want to see if there's anything that I think I might need to add. And that's where I want your help. In the comments below, after you watch this, let me know what you guys think I, mean, I might need to add for her. Now, like I say, this is a get-home bag. I'm just going to go through because, like I say, honestly, I have forgotten all of the things that are in here. So I'm going to go through it one item at a time, one pouch at a time, and see what we got. So I'm going to lay it flat. There's a bottom compartment here um, that unzips. And in it, I see a little black bag. And see, I, I don't even remember what's in here. This is an old camera case that I used to use before I got my better camera case. And in there, it looks like we have quite a few things. We have a compass. We have a knife. We have a damn big lighter, of course. We have a 40 inch triangular bandage. And we have a signaling mirror, which as you can see works very well. So that's all that's in that little bo that box right there. Here, and this little box is a cook kit or a mess kit. And this is just an old school Boy Scout type mess kit. It's got the frying pan, the pot. In there I've got a little aluminum foil steaming rack. Um, just a mess kit. So if she is forced to stay overnight, and needs to boil some water 
or uh, cook a meal or warm up a meal or then the next item is a very warm wool Patagonia beanie to keep her head warm as well as a couple of bandanas which have multiple uses I'm not gonna I feel no need to go over all the different uses for bandanas now, this is also another way to access the main compartment of this bag all right so now that I got it opened up in there there's just a little seat pad kneeling pad uh, whatever there is a sewing kit in here in case she needs to mend her clothes again self-explanatory I have here a uh, metal container again that she could boil water in or use to process water for filtering and uh, it's got the top on it but it's good to have a metal container for boiling water if you have to uh, let's see I have a little emergency fishing kit in here it's got a couple of bobbers with a uh, line attached to it hooks some jigs a float some weights a variety of different hooks um, just a little a couple of little uh, jigs on there in case she's stranded somewhere she's hungry there's a water source and she can fish by a river or stream whatever and my wife knows how to fish believe me a lot of times when we go she always catches the first fish and we made a deal for a while I would catch them and bring them home and she would clean them looks like in here I've got a couple of cans of uh, that gel heat so she can cook with this and basically you just open the top light it it creates a flame you can put your boiling water on there or pots from the mess kit you can use two of them side by side if you need to so um, you got a little a little way to cook or to keep warm those little things put out enough flame where you know you can keep your hands warm and everything with that in here I have some of these little uh, tablets that are toilet paper and you've probably seen these before but uh, they're just little round tablets you just add a few drops of water and they expand into like paper towels that are good for washing or um, toilet and to use for toilet paper what have you it's compressed cotton tissue basically is what it is and here is a tarp that she can use for a shelter a couple of just held by a couple of rubber bands this is a uh, an 8 by 6 tarp first aid kit I'm not going to go over everything that's in there but all of basically all of your first aid things aspirin antibiotic uh, no uh, ointments band-aids gloves compress all that kind of stuff so very important to have a first aid kit all right for a cutting implement i put gave her a a cookery for a larger cutting implement in addition to the knife this is in case she does need to hack away something that uh fell across the road or something like that this cookery has been in my family for a long time and uh, it's good easy for her to yield very sharp a little rusty but uh, works very well
we've got this little tobacco can. It's a fire combustion inside of there. Or a couple of things of quick fire. There are some uh, waterproof storm matches. Yet another damn Bic lighter. Here's a couple of pieces of uh, jute and wick for a uh, tinder to get a fire started. So just a little mini fire kit. She knows how to do it. That's important guys. Make sure that if you're setting up a, ki a kit uh, for your wife, make sure she knows how to use all the stuff that's in it. And then of course here, I've got a, uh, what, how many feet is this? 50 feet of cordage for her to use as a ridge line and to tie off the tarp. Um, I noticed that I don't have any tent stakes. So that's something that I'm going to add. I'm going to get some of those lightweight aluminum tent stakes to help her with her uh, shelter. Of course she could use the kukri and she could uh, carve some out of wood but I'm going to put some tent stakes in there just to make it easier. Let's see what else we got in here. At the very bottom, there's a zipper. And in it is just an emergency. Actually, this is a pack cover. Yeah, this is a pack cover that goes with this backpack. So if it's raining, she doesn't want everything in the pack to get wet. That's just a cover that was made specifically for this bag to keep it dry. In the top compartment, there are some other items. So a couple of the N95 masks. Uh, looks like there are two of those. In case I'm with her. Um, there's a little, just a little carry bag right here. This would be good. Uh, if, say if she needed to go out and forage for tinder or whatever, it'd be a good tinder bag. Um, it'd also be good for, um, leave no trace, you know, just like a little trash bag, perhaps. A couple of flashlights in here, and I can see right now, this one might probably need to replace the batteries. And then, here's another little, one of the little cheap backup flashlight. It's good to have a backup. Uh, let's see. And then here's a headlamp that she can put on a cap, which there is in her trunk. And again, you just push the button. Here is uh, some zip ties and duct tape for repairs of sorts, if need be. And then the last thing that she has is another knife. And I would encourage her to put this one on her belt, um, but it's just a Camelus Titanium. I don't know if you've seen these or not. You can get them at Walmart. They're not expensive, but it's a nice fixed blade knife. It's got a nice comfortable handle. It's uh, made by Camelus. So that's another knife in addition to the Kukri and this knife as well. So let's see water I need to probably put a couple of bottles of water in here we have this we have way of fire if she needed to boil water but what if she's in an area and there's no water near so I need to put a couple of bottles of water on these side pockets over here I'll do that as soon as I pack everything back up we've got shelter covered but I do need to add some tent stakes for her. We've got the cordage. We've got the tarp. Repair stuff with the sewing kit, the zip ties, the tape. We've got light covered with a headlamp and two flashlights, which I need to get batteries for. We've got fire. We've got first aid. We've got sanitary things. Um, cutting implements, cooking implements, um, 
signaling implements, a compass, trying to think of what else I might need to add. Help me out, guys. I need to put a blanket in here for her, or a uh, sleeping bag. I've got them sitting in this shed right here. I'm just going to grab one, throw it in the trunk. It's got straps on the bottom of the bag here, and uh, we can just put one of those sleeping bags on the bottom of her bag here. So that I'm going to add. But anything else, if I forgot, guys, leave in the comments section. I want to make sure that she'll be okay if she has to. That's what's in the bag, guys. So, guys, make sure that your ladies are taken care of. They're not always with us. We're not always going to be there with them with all the gear that we have. Make sure they have their own gear. Make sure you've got Water, cooking, fire, shelter, all that stuff covered. In addition to that, I'm going to take one of those jackets, one of those mini jackets that I have bought her that she never wears, that are hanging up in the closet. I'm going to put it in the trunk too, so she can be warm. But anyway, like I said guys, I appreciate so much you coming along today, watching my video, supporting my channel. How do you do that? Well, you subscribe if you have it. You give me a thumbs up. Maybe share it. All of your support is greatly appreciated, and I want you to know that. Thanks for coming by. I appreciate you dropping in, watching my channel. And uh, till next time, keep calm, carry on. Keep it outdoors.